The famous standing stones are only a small part of the Stonehenge complex. The area is ringed with barrows, ancient burial mounds. The barrows are reported to rest on the same energy fields as Stonehenge and also have had sightings associated with them. This is Kenneth Parsons, who's providing us with the 1990 David Tickle footage of UFOs that were shot over the Barrow Mounds here at Stonehenge. On and off, there's a manifestation of something up here in the sky. It could be a UFO, or it could be related to these Earth energies. But there's definitely a lot of activity. So things are happening there on that mound. Could well be related to the ley lines here and the earth energies. May 7th, 1990. Record producer David Tickle is taking a leisurely drive across Salisbury Plain on his way to Guildford. At 3 o'clock, he stops at Stonehenge and videotapes the standing stones and the barrows with an analog video recorder. To his amazement, the camera captures something he can't explain. White objects seem to be appearing and disappearing in the sky over an oval barrow. At the same time, several black objects on the top of the barrow blink in and out of existence, apparently in sync with the objects in the sky. I think these objects could well follow the ley lines because, I mean, it's so close to the Stonehenge monument uh, over these barrows. That could well be a UFO. And these here could be earth energies. You keep seeing things popping up and down on the mounds, black things. The objects in the sky could possibly be analog video artifacts, flaws that appear when an ultra-bright object overrides the circuitry and produces a false image. But that doesn't explain the dark images appearing on the mound, nor is there any explanation of why the dark balls are appearing and disappearing in time with the white objects. Really? Now, why is the UFO seeming to, like, wink in and out of existence? I don't understand this is why how, it appears and disappears and appears and disappears. This is how these objects often operate. They seem to be uh, dimension hoppers. They, they will go in and out of our reality. You're saying that the UFOs aren't attracted to this area. They, they can be. They're sent area. out from they can, but I have seen them attracted to these sites as well. But I've never seen this where you've got the energies and the UFO in the, in, in, all on tape like that. So that's extraordinary. While the team finds the video evidence impressive, the low quality of the analog tape calls the footage into question. Tickle and Parsons, however, are convinced that this footage is indeed evidence of Earth energies and UFOs over Stonehenge. UFOs seem to travel along ley lines, along the energy grid, as if they're attracted to it. But in this particular case, what we saw over the barrow was that UFOs seem to be winking in and out of existence, almost as though they're traveling in between dimensions.